विजय कुमारे इंग्लिश टीचर डू यू लाइक द प्ले डू यू लाइक द कन्वर्जेशन बिटवीन जेरॉड एंड द इंट्रोडर विच कैरेक्टर डू यू लाइक मोस्ट इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू थिंक अबाउट द लैंग्वेज एंड अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स ऑफ द वर्ड्स बाई यूजिंग अ डिक्शनरी एंड द एक्सप्रेशन यूज बाय जेरॉड इन एन आईरोनिक वे we will see the overview of our lesson overview of the lesson if i were you in this lesson we have three parts before you read thinking about the text activity reading activity thinking about the language and speaking and writing in this session we are going to discuss and learn about the reading activity thinking about the language what are the objectives we are going to discuss and learn in this lesson learning objectives by the end of this lesson you will be able to identify the correct word by consulting dictionary and choose the correct word from the pairs given in brackets understand the expressions we often use in an ironic fashion read the play carefully one time and find the words and expressions gerard uses in an ironic way understand the different meanings of the words that is a word can mean different things in different contexts example culture cultural cultured tell in your own words about a situation provided example imagine you are gerard tell your friend what happened when the intruder broke into your house rewrite as a story convert the play into a story now we are going to learn thinking about the language thinking about language consult your dictionary and choose the correct word from the pairs given in brackets the dash of the accident was dash sight sight what is the difference between sight and sight the first word sight means a place where something was happened the second word sight means to call upon officially or authoritatively to appear what is the right answer as the first word sight is the right answer ghastly ghostly what is the difference between these two words ghastly means causing great horror or fear ghostly means having the characteristics of a ghost so the answer is ghastly now read the sentence the site of the accident was ghastly yes you are right the site of the accident was ghastly well done we will see the second sentence our college dash is very strict principal principal what is the right answer the first word principal means a moral rule or belief that helps you know what is right and wrong and that influences your actions the second word principal means the most important or senior person in an organization or group so the answer is the second word principal now read the sentence our college principal is very strict excellent now which words are going to see in the dictionary i studied dash for eight hours 
continuously continually which word is right the meaning of the word continuously is without interruption or gaps the meaning of the word continually is in a constantly repeated manner being interrupted continually so the right answer is continuously now read the sentence i studied continuously for 8 hours nice what is the next word we are going to learn the fog had an adverse dash on the traffic effect effect what is the difference between these two words effect means a change which is a result or consequence of an action or other cause effect means make a difference to so guess the answer the answer is s you are right effect now read the sentence the fog had an adverse effect on the traffic congratulations guess what are the words we are going to learn jason the famous french painter was a brilliant dash artist artist what is the right answer artist means a person who creates paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby artist means a professional entertainer especially a singer or dancer now guess the answer what is the right answer artist now read the sentence Susan the famous french painter was a brilliant artist excellent what is the next sentence the book that you gave me yesterday is an extraordinary dash of science and fiction and mystery colors it's what is the right answer collage means a collection or combination of various things college means an educational institution now guess the answer what is the right answer s collage is the right answer now read the sentence the book that you gave me yesterday is an extraordinary collage of science fiction and mystery excellent we will see some other words in the dictionary to learn its meanings our school will dash an exhibition on cruelty to animals and wildlife conservation host hoist what is the difference between these two words host means a person who receives or entertains other people as guests hoist means an act of rising or lifting something now guess the answer what is the right answer hoist hoist is the right answer read this sentence our school will host an exhibition on cruelty to animals and wildlife conservation well done What are the other words we are going to learn? Screw the lid tightly onto the top of the bottle and dash well before using the contents. Shake shape What is the difference between these two words? Shake means move an object up and down or from side to side with rapid forceful jerky movements. shape means outline of someone or something what is the right answer shake so the answer is shake read the sentence
screw the lid tightly onto the top of the bottle and shake well before using the contents. Nice. We will learn some ironic words. Irony is when we say one thing but we use a slightly different tone of voice when we use these words ironically. Read the play carefully and find the words and expressions Gerard uses in an ironic way. Then say what these expressions really mean. We will write some expressions along with what they really mean. Two examples have been given below. Write down three more such expressions along with what they really mean. What the author says. Why this is a surprise, Mr. What he means. He pretends that the intruder is a social visitor whom he is welcoming. In this way, he hides his fear. Shall we see the another expression? What the author says, at last, a sympathetic audience. What he means, he pretends that the intruder wants to listen to him, whereas actually the intruder wants to find out information for his own use. We will write three more expressions along with what they really mean. What the author says, You have been so modest. What he means, He means that the intruder has been modest in not having told anything about him. We will go to the next expression. What the other says, you won't kill me for a very good reason. What he means, there is no reason to kill Gerard, but Gerard pretends that there is a very good reason. Do you say another expression said by the other? What the other says, with you figuring so largely in it, that is understandable. What he means? The other means that it is not understandable how anything about him is surprising. Do you know what are the uses of the dictionary? Dictionary use. A word can mean different things in different contexts. Look at these three sentences. The students are taught to respect different cultures. The school is organizing a cultural show. His voice is cultured. In the first sentence, culture means way of life. In the second, cultural means connected with art, literature and music. And in the third, cultured means sophisticated, well-mannered. Usually, a dictionary helps you identify the right meaning by giving you signposts. We will see the meanings of the word culture in the dictionary. Cultural it is an adjective, usually we use before a noun, connected with the culture of particular society or group, its customs, beliefs, etc. Cultural differences between the two communities, economic, social and cultural factors. Connected with art, literature, music, etc. A cultural event. Europe's cultural heritage. The orchestra is very important for the cultural life of the city. Culturally is an adjective.
we will see the meaning of culture. Look at the dictionary entry on culture from Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary 2005. Culture. Culture is a noun. This is a verb. A noun. Way of life. The customs and beliefs are way of life and social organization of a particular country or group, European, Islamic, African, American, etc. Culture means working class. Culture, a country, group, etc. with its own beliefs, etc. The children are taught to respect different cultures. The effect of technology on traditional cultures. The other meaning of the culture is art, music and literature. Art, music, literature. Art, music, literature, etc. thought of as a group. Venice is a beautiful city full of culture and history. Popular culture that is enjoyed by a lot of people. The Minister for Culture. We will have a glance at beliefs and attitudes. Beliefs and attitudes. The beliefs and attitudes about fifth that people in a particular group or organization share. The political culture of the United States and Europe are very different. A culture of failure exists in some schools. Company culture. We are living in a consumer culture. Growing and breeding are also meanings of culture. Growing or breeding. The growing of plants or breeding of particular animals in order to get a particular substance or crop from them. The culture of silkworms for silk. In biology, we see the culture of bacteria or cells. Cells or bacteria in biology or in medical terms. A group of cells or bacteria, especially one taken from a person or an animal and grown for medical or scientific study or to produce food. The process of obtaining and growing these cells, a culture of cells from the tumor. Yogurt is made from active cultures. To do or take a throat culture. Now we will see another meaning of culture in the Oxford Dictionary. Culture is a verb. In biology or in medical terms, to grow a group of cells or bacteria for medical or scientific study. At last, we will see the meaning of culture. Culture of people well educated and able to understand and enjoy art, literature, etc. Cultivated of cells or bacteria grown for medical or scientific study. Cultured of pearls grown artificially. Now we are going to learn about signposts. Dictionary use. Sympathy is a noun. Adjective is sympathetic. Adverb is sympathetically. Verb is sympathize. And the meaning of the word sympathy is 
feeling of pity and sorrow for someone else misfortune next we are going to see the adjective adverb verb and meaning of the noun familiarity familiarity is a noun adjective of familiarity is familiar adverb of familiarity is familiarly verb of familiarity is familiarize and the meaning of the word familiarity is knowledge of something and then we are going to learn the adjective adverb verb and the meaning of the noun comfort comfort is a noun the adjective of comfort is comfortable and the adverb of comfort is comfortably the verb of noun comfort is comfort meaning of the word comfort is a state of physical ease and freedom from pain now we are going to see the adjective adverb verb and meaning of the noun care care is a noun the adjective of care is caring adverb of care is carefully the verb is care and the meaning of the word care is protection of someone or something next we are going to see the adjective adverb verb and the meaning of the noun surprise surprise is a noun the adjective of the surprise is surprising and the adverb of the surprise is surprisingly do you know the verb yes surprise what is the meaning of surprise surprise means astonish now use the information given by me and complete the table i explained all the nouns its adjectives adverbs verbs and their meanings given in the table use the information and fill the table like this rewrite the story in your own words rewrite as a story playwright gerard is a person of culture he occupies a modest hut he does have a lot of encounters he has to go soon but before he can a stranger walks into his quarters he is holding a revolver unintentionally he bumps into the table he is warmly welcomed by gerard the intrusion starts he bombards gerard with inquiries these describe his life his quarters the number of visitors etc gerard assumes calm and structure he uses irony comedy and wit to respond to inquiries according to him the intruder didn't need a great brain to intrude into his tiny cabin even more he inquired about his speciality gerard finally got it because he resembled gerard the intruder planned to assassinate him and then take his place gerard realized everything right away he admitted to the intruder that he was a murderer as well the police were therefore looking for him gerard said that regrettably one of his guys had been apprehended that evening he was prepared for problems he had that night off planned he then persuaded the intruder that going with him would be beneficial to him he also warned him that 
he could shoot him in the car if he was a frame. What we have learned. Identify the correct word by consulting dictionary and choose the correct word from the pairs given in brackets. Understood the expressions we often use in an ironic fashion. Read the play carefully one time and find the words and expressions Gerard uses in an ironic way. Understood the different meanings of the words. That is, a word can mean different things in different contexts. Example, culture, cultural, cultured. Told in their own words about a situation provided. Example, imagine you are Gerard. Tell your friend what happened when the intruder broke into your house. Rewrote as a story, converted the play into a story. Do you enjoy this session? Do you want to speak about this play? Move on to the third part of this lesson.